Hello, and thanks again for tuning in. Today we have something special from Freewell. It's the Card Reader Pro. Now let's see if this is a game changer or a total waste of money. Now full disclosure, the team at Freewell have sent me this unit to use and to test and uh, to share my thoughts with you. Uh, they have no say in my review and um, I'll tell you exactly how I found it, my thoughts, you know, whether they're good or bad. Uh, and I'll be extremely um, open and honest about my um, thoughts. I saw that Freewell came out with a card reader case and I was intrigued. It's what I've needed for a very, very, very long time. See, I have a Mac uh, with just the USB-C connections. So no SD card slots or other media is supported. So I have been hauling out of those little dongles, whatever Apple calls them, uh, wherever I go. And I lose them, I forget them, I misplace them. And to be honest, I'm unsure about where they are right now. Plus, I also need a case uh, to lug my media around, my SD cards, CF cards and micro SDs. So I'm always taking two units wherever I go. Because currently I use an SD card, a CF cards uh, with my Nikon Z8, which is what I'm filming on right now. With the Fujifilm X-H2, I use SD cards and CF as well. My XF10, a little pocket rocket of a Fuji camera, uses SD cards, and then I use micro SD cards in my DJI Pocket 2 and 3. It's a lot, but when I come back from shooting, I can now upload all three media types at the same time. This saves me a huge amount of time, and it just makes it easy and simple. I could just set them up, walk away, only coming back to create proxies, if required, uh, before editing. But before this, I was having to wait till one finished before I started another data transfer, and it was just, it was a pain, and it was frustrating. The Freewell uh, Pro Card Reader gives you what I'd call a universal capability. So it reads CF cards, both Express A and B, uh, UHS 1 and 2 SD cards, including SDXC, SDHC, and micro SD cards as well. So it ensures a wide range of use for photographers, videographers, creatives, um, enthusiasts, and beginners. It features high speed data transfer rates. Now it has a Type C port for quick data transfer to Type C smartphones. Uh, tablets, laptops, computers, uh, anything without the need for additional apps. So you can just plug and play and you're ready to go. Which is super versatile, you know, it's engineered for, like I said before, a plug and play convenience. So there's no drivers or installation needed, uh, making it super easy tool for various storage and uh, transfer requirements across all different devices, which is excellent. It's very sturdy. Uh, it's very well built and a very portable design, given how sturdy it is. Make, uh, with an aluminium alloy body, this card reader comes with a carabiner, which I just clip on to my bags, just to ensure that it doesn't slip out uh, accidentally, because it is quite a slick design, um, because that would be the last thing you want with all of your you know, travel memories, or if you're on a job somewhere and you've lost your, not just your card reader, but your SD cards and other media. But the thing that this comes down to is it's just such a cool design where it holds one CF Express Type A, a one CF Type B card, along with three SD cards, six micro SD cards, and two nano SIMs. Now I've got no use for the nano SIMs, but they're there in case you do. The fact that this unit can not only read the media from your cards, but also stores them is incredible. It saves you from transferring cards between uh, storage cases to card readers and to and from and so forth because this eventually will end up in lost cards because you're taking them from place A to place B. If you accidentally set them down somewhere else, you'll lose them. But just be wary, it's not weather sealed. So if you are traveling, you might want to ensure it's in a pocket in your pack uh, so it's not to get wet. A small dry bag uh, or a you know, weather sealed case uh, might be a good idea uh, just in case your water bottle leaks inside of your bag because this has happened to a lot of people and uh, luckily not me um, and it does just ruin everything in your backpack. Now I love the carabiner clip as well uh, like I said earlier I clip it onto my bag so I don't lose it um, it makes it easier to, uh, to I guess as an anti-theft device because people can't just grab it out of your bag if your bag slightly open um, you know it'll be connected to it internally.
There are also LED lights to tell you that the media is in that slot and it's reading, which is great. And I also like the pinch to release. It means that it's not gonna accidentally open. It'll keep your media safe and unexposed. So like I said, it's not weather sealed, but having that ability to close it and keep it closed is very important. I don't see this as just a travel accessory. I'll be using this all the time. It keeps everything in the same place and it makes the backup process extremely easy and quick. It has more media slots than any other similar product on the market that I've come across uh, with a dedicated micro SD slot being the biggest variation. I know, um, you know, a lot of other units on the market similar do not have a slot for micro SD. So you'll have to bring one of those adapter SD cards that you put the micro SD inside but what this does is it um, doesn't enable you to read both SD cards and micro SDs at the same time. You'll have to use the adapter, use the SD slot, take that out and then use your SD cards afterwards if you're doing both at the same time, which you know I generally am. But with Freewells, you can do them both at the same time, which is fantastic as it's got a micro SD card slot and an SD card slot for reading. Now I haven't found many other downsides to date other than the weather ceiling, but I don't see that as being an issue because I'm not gonna expose this unit to the elements. Uh, so the only danger, as I said earlier, would be water leaking in a drink bottle inside my bag. So again, if you're worried about that, get a small dry bag uh, to put your electronics in. It's just good practice anyway. So I highly recommend this reader. I'll be using it for a very long time. Unfortunately, you know, like any electronics, there's no way to tell how long it will last, but I have been using it as a daily reader for, uh, for quite a while now, and it's not failed yet. Uh, be kind to the USB-C cable though, as it is fixed. Therefore, if you break it, um, I'd say you'll be buying a new unit. Yeah, that's really it. It's just a fantastic thing. I've been waiting for something like this for a very long time, so I'm not carrying two things, just the one. So look, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.